Yeah! What's happening? What's happening? Uh, today is Saturday. Happy Saturday to everybody. Y'all already know what's going on, everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today. Today, man. What we have today? What we have today? Who hit? Who hit on? Well, not these. This is uh my black 2013 black toe leather guys. No satin on these thing right here. You feel me? But nah, uh, Nike sneakers out there to draw this morning, and they released on a lot of websites. So who went after them? You know, there was a women's, which I don't even get why they making women's. I guess because of the satin thing supposed to be some kind of women. I have no idea. They should have just brought them out in full sizes, and then everybody could have copped, and then Nike would have made even more money. But you know. They do it how they want to do it, you feel me? It's, I'm sure it's some kind of method behind their madness. I will be rocking. It's <clears throat> like little Gungus attack right there. I will be rocking these today, uh, even though I'm not going after them. Usually I wear a shoe or the same silhouette or the similar colorway to a shoe um, on the day that it releases. But today I'm just, I'm just wearing these, man. I'm not going after the shoe. I didn't try to get them or nothing like that. Because they don't have my size. I can't wear them anyway. I wear a size 12 men's, which will be... What, 14, 13 and a half in women, so I wasn't going to be able to get them anyway, but I wouldn't really went after them anyway, man, you know what I'm saying, I'm cool, I got these, and I got, um, well, this is the 2013, I also got 2016, I also got bread toes, man, I mean, how, how many sneakers in that colorway can you have, the satin really don't excite me like that, it's cool, the shoe is dope, I heard the quality was real good too, like, as far as the leather and stuff too, but, um, I, I probably just want to check them out in hand or something like that. I don't know if somebody, uh, T. Ward might have got them. I don't know. I try to get the shoe in hand so I can do a little review, comparison video, stuff like that. But anyway, today, man, we got a big day today. Whew. If y'all see this mountain of sneakers, I only want to show it because it's like actually toppling over like <clears throat> the boxes. Sneaker, these boxes are so trash. That these shoes come in, man, they start wrinkling up and bending and breaking. And none of them are the same size and it's hard to get all stacked. So to say, it's just ridiculous, man. So I got to go get some more of these right here. These containers, man. So I'm headed to the container store first. And then I might do a little mall vlog to see what's going on in the mall. See if any shoes that I haven't seen yet arrived at the mall, man. So I can get some mall vlog action. So um, that's it, man. We're doing container store. We're doing kind of like slick day in the life. To a certain extent, if I see something interesting or something funny or something, you know what I'm saying, that I want to just throw in a video, I'll put it in the video, man. But uh, for right now, we're throwing on these black toe ones. We finna head out. And I got to get rid of that mountain. I actually, gonna, I'm going to redo everything. Like, I'm going, I'm not doing all that in this video. I'm just buying the containers. But I'll probably do a, some kind of vlog or something like that when I redo. I, I've been trying to redo the room, but it's just, it's been hectic. And I really need more of those containers, man. I need more, I need more space because... Most of these sneakers that's on this side of the room right here that's still in boxes, most of them, I might sell a few, but most of them I'm keeping and I'm going to end up having to put them in containers because these shoe boxes is just ridiculous at this point. Anyway, y'all ready, man? Y'all ready? I'm going to hit this container store. I don't know how many ca cases I'm buying. I want to buy a lot, but they expensive. They like, you can get six for like $50 or something like that, so... Let's see what we can do with it, man. Uh, hope y'all having a good one. Y'all come along with your boy Rich and let go. Let go do some thing, man. Let go handle some business. You feel me? Let do it. Yeah, man. We have arrived, man. We here the container store, bro. This is my first time being at this location. This is the perimeter center location. I just put container store locations in my GPS, and I chose the one with less traffic. And that I would get to the quickest, and then this one came up. You know what I'm saying? So I, the other one I went to was in Buckhead. They were pretty dope. This one is actually in the shopping center. The other one was a standalone. Um, and right in the front, like if you can, you see all those white boxes right in the front. Those are the sneaker containers. I, I, from what I heard, that is their biggest selling item now is the sneaker containers. And if you watch YouTube, you will really see why <laughs> that's their best seller because we the youtubers and sneakerheads and collectors we buy all of them man and the reason is which i told y'all earlier in the video well at least my reason for buying these sneaker containers is because those boxes don't stack on top of each other right and, it, and the sneaker containers they are made to stack on top of each other uh like somebody coming out the store or something now <laughs> um 
They make the steak on top of each other, not topple over, not fall over. So that's the best way to store your sneakers, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I didn't get it because it looked dope. I didn't get it because you can still see the shoe. I got it because they stack on top of each other better, and you can just open it up, pull it out, put your sneaker back in. Like one of the dopest creations when it comes to like actually connecting, uh, collecting sneakers, man. So um, for everybody who ask me over and over again, I guess these people aren't looking at some of these um, container store pickup vlogs that a lot of YouTubers put up. But for the people who ask me, Rich, where you get the containers? I get that question at least once a week. Where do I get the sneaker containers that are behind me? I get them from the container store. Actually, it was a I bought a few from the container store, and it was a guy that um, sold me a lot of them. He was like downsizing his collection, and he just I just had him ship me like. I think he like shipped me like 30 of them or something like that for a really good like discounted price man so that was dope but anyway one thing I don't like about the containers is the fact that the doors are very easy to tear off and like that plastic is very cheap and it breaks that's the only thing I don't like about it my daughter has tore off at least three or four of them things man so one question before I go in should I get the black ones like if they have the black ones I don't have any black ones like would they look doper? Would they look different? It just seemed like the black background and give it some kind of like um, contrast or something like that. I don't know. Y'all come below and let me know. Anyway, with that being said, let's go in here, man. Let's go in here. I done talked enough. Is that a banana? Ew, look at that. Well, I thought that was a big old turd at first. It's a banana, man. Anyway, that was a dried out banana. That looked very disgusting. So anyway, we at the container store. Yeah. Like I said, Drop front boxes, forty-seven dollars for a case of six. I don't know how many how many other cases I could fit inside my wife's Infinity SUV that silver car just got out of. Her. How many could ever fit? How ever many could fit in there? That's how many I'm gonna get. Yeah, man. So I might not have a choice, but to get the clear, the black ones might not be an option because all I see in the blacks is the small. So I don't know if they sold out of them or, but if I have to get the clear, that's cool, man. I just need some, bro. Cause I got so many sneakers in boxes. So as soon as I went to ask somebody that they have the men's black boxes, I saw them. Uh, they got a pair of threes in there, guy, look. <laughs> Is that the chlorophyll threes? Is that the chlorophyll threes in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the display on the box? What they got in here? They got some union ones, don't they? Wow, so, so sneakerheads have had to help them out. Like collectors has had to help. Um, I know a couple of people got deals with the container store, but those are Union ones. Ah, uh, those are like some kind of Air Force ones right now. And then you got Clarfield three. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna try the black ones out. It's feel like it's gonna be weird because it's not not all my cases gonna match. I just want to try the black ones out. So I'm gonna get a gang of these. How many of them will fit in my car? I'm gonna get a bunch of them. So. I think I can fit one, two, three, four. I think I can fit at least f maybe five or six of these. That'd be about that'd be about two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, a pair of shoes, man. They do it. So I was able to get five in there. I had to take the six box out of the um, out of the box so I can um, I had to take the, the containers out of the box so I can close the door. The door wasn't closed, so I got three on this side. I got one right here. Uh, this is five, and then I got one in the front seat with me up there in the front. So let's hope it closes this time. And there it is. So I got six of them, which is what? 36. So, and it, what's crazy about it, it's still not gonna be enough for the rest of my sneaker. <laughs> it's still not gonna be enough, bro. I got this one in the passenger side with me. Um, and I got all those in the back. So it's, it's it's crazy because I got literally like almost 160 pairs that's not even in the clear cases behind me in the, in the room. So I got I just bought 36. I probably would have had to spend close to a thousand dollars to get all my shoes in them, and my wife was not trying to hit it. I spent 300 on these cases, so I should be able to get like all of my favorites, the ones that I want to wear in these cases and like it's a lot of shoes that I forget about forget that I got and mostly I try to keep all my Jordans in cases because I wear Jordans more than anything else so I try to keep all the J's in the cases man um so it's gonna be this is gonna motivate me a little bit 
to redo the room. You feel me? Like to finally redo the room and clean everything out and move everything where I need to move it. At. Having these actual places to put the sneakers is gonna motivate me to do that, man. So anyway, that's it for the container store part of the video. Y'all ready to hit this mall up? Perimeter Center Mall is right around the corner. Perfect location for coming here and then coming, uh, going straight to Perimeter Center. The guy was just telling me these are so popular. These cases are so popular. The guy that works here who loaded the car up. I said, yeah, I said, I, I said, I might be one of the reasons why they so popular. So container store, holla at me. I just spent $300, man. Come on with it, man. I need the free cases. No, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it like that. It's a lot of collectors, man. They, they go and spend stuff. They don't have YouTube channels and stuff like that. So I'm a man of the people. I go spend my money on the cases so I can put them in the room and have them looking good. You feel me? Um, So that's it, man. Y'all ready to hit the mall and see what's going on in the mall? I know a lot of people going after them ones, man. Um, They probably like, they was reselling those stockets for like $500, $600, $800. I was like, what? I, I didn't realize the hype was still that big for a satin Jordan one, man. But I, I guess so, Shadow. Like, I don't know. It's just I, I feel I like my leather ones better. I'm rocking my leather ones right now, and I like these. I like the look of these a whole lot better than those satin Jordan ones, man. And most people that's buying them are men, like they women's shoes. Like I said, I just don't understand why they did the sizing like that. Um. Anyway, we can go ahead and go to the mall, man. Do it. Man, you know what's man? You know what's crazy, man. That's the mall right now. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm in the back of the container store. I put in a GPS to take me to the mall. I knew it was right around the corner, but I ain't know it was that close. I'm literally right behind the mall, bro. <laughs> That's funny. I'm right behind the mall over here at the container store. So I feel, I feel a little stupid for that. I didn't realize it was right behind it because when I was going to the container store, it had me go past the mall, ride down, and then I, I made two rights. So I guess that would probably pretty much lead me right back. To where the mall at. <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm tripping out here, man. All these containers in my car, man. I got these container ride with me, shawty. And I went with black for every last one of them. So, y'all think they're going to look tacky? Y'all think it's going to clash with my clear cases? You think it's going to look weird a little bit? Um, my main concern ain't really how it look as much as, I guess it'll be a background for the videos, stuff like that. But, uh, my, man, my, my main reason for buying these, man, is just so I can have them shoes stacked up, man, and take, take up less space and not be falling over in the room and stuff like that, man. So, yeah, 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 you feel me? At Perimeter Center Mall, there's a lot of fire and rescue action going on up here. I hope everybody's all right. Hope everybody having a blessed day, you feel me? Um, as you can see, fire truck action happening over there. Um, Maggiano's, y'all a little tour right quick. Maggiano be hitting. You like Italian food? That's one of my favorite Italian restaurants. My wife turned me on to that spot about 10, 15 years ago. I don't know, it was a while ago. Um, we both worked out in this area for a while. So it was dope going over there for lunch and stuff like that. As you can see, a lot is happening out here. So we're going to go in through the Macy's entrance which is the only entrance I remember going into when I worked over there. It ain't nowhere near the, the sneaker spots, but it's some familiarity. Yeah, man, we've had this crazy heat wave in Atlanta, man. Like, it is hot out there, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta go with slight drip. You can't put too many clothes on. Today I'm rocking the G-Star shirt. G-Star shirt I bought when I was out there in Cali, man. G-Star, uh, the G-Star G -Star store had a really big sale going on. So I was able to grab a couple of pieces. I got the um, cut off black shorts going on. And of course, y'all already know from earlier, you boy rocking the uh, black toe, black toe guys, man. And I'm filming myself in the middle of the mall, man. So y'all know how that go. People be looking at me. I might be going the wrong way. Get on this side right here. Let me see. So I was going the wrong way. I had to bust a U. As you can see, Macy's back there. Um, I'm going the right way now. I'm on the right page, man. This mall is very underrated, man. When you hear people talk about malls in Atlanta, you never hear them talking about uh, Perimeter Mall. You always hear Lennox. Uh, Cumberland Mall is the best mall in Atlanta, especially for sneakers. They got like the most sneaker stores and they, they get a lot of pairs in and stuff like that. A lot of people say Lennox because they got Nike, and um, but Nike is like literally the best thing in that mall in my opinion. But um, let me find where the shoe store is at and we'll come back. This mall does a lot of business too, Saturdays, as you can see, it's super crowded in here, guys. I think the sneaker stores are down this way. I think they are. So I did find the sneaker spot. Champ Sports is the first place I ran into. 
Um, they got these windbreaker guys in here. These kind of sold out in a lot of spots. I knew they were going to keep restocking them, though. Um, dope shoe. One, it's just something they ain't got to have, but these are dope. Really like the colorway on those. Dope springtime, summertime action going on on them guy. One day, I'm going to see them on sale, and I'm going to buy them for like $105 or something. <laughs> I love that shoe, man. That's a dope shoe, man. And Jason, yeah, Jason Taylor, so dope. They got these 97s out. They got a whole pack with like this sketch kind of drawing on the side of it. The 97 is dope. I, will, I probably went bound, man. It kind of put me in the mind of the undefeateds, too, with just like the Nike branding all around the, um, this little part, the stripes going on. Like I said, it's, it's dope, but if I was going to go with it, they make so many 97s, I'd probably get that Jason uh, Tatum 97 before I get something like this. Here you go, the new wave, the new wave. I actually haven't seen the royal ones in hand. Everybody want to rock John 1 low? Nah, no, these are dope. The blue tone guy, clean. He's clean, man. Uh, if I see the Shattered Backboard ones, I heard a couple of people release the Shattered Backboard colorway. I might buy them. I wish they would have went with all leather, though, because the Shattered Backboard colorway is, like, mostly new buck all up here. But this colorway is fire. This blue one, I like I like better than all of these right here. I like this I like this one the best. If I was the cop one, other than the Shattered Backboard, it would be this one right here. They got the mid-action going on right here. Never was really crazy about these. Um, and also, like, pick a material, bro. They got leather on the toe. They got new buck on the side. They got like a satin kind of material up here. And the swoosh got that little nylon material on it too. I mean they can't pick a color, but at least at least pick a um pick a material on them guys, man. But nah, they can have them mid. This is another shoe a lot of people hate on, but another shoe when it go on sale and I can get it for $89.99. Uh I'd be copying it. The uh, Space Jam Low guys, man. Welcome to Stomper Nation. Well, all ant beds will be eliminated. Ant bed stumper mode activated. Face that. There's another another shoe that they're using that pattern on. It's just if if that if Nike didn't do everything in packs, maybe the single shoes would be a little bit more special. But they do they'll do like a whole line of shoes with the same design on it, man. You got a denim, the whole denim stumper right here, bro. Oof. You can wear some Jordan pants with these, them big old oversized pants, make shoes, some shoe snacks, swallow up a shoe. That's how you do that. But they doing something different with the women 97, bro. What it is here? What it is here right here? I'm scared of them. They're doing some different stuff, man. Look at her. They don't even put the swoosh. It just, it just say swoosh. Use your imagination, face. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? I keep seeing people looking down my, at my feet. Like I just caught the satins or something. Or might, maybe it's just in my head, but people keep looking down at my feet. Either they like these I got on, or they think they the satins, it's one or the other. I finally found Foot Locker, which is not a house of hoops. Is it not? Oh, wait a minute, I thought every Foot Locker in Atlanta was house. Okay, okay, it is house of hoops. I don't know why Foot Locker is so compelled to play music this loud in their store. But they do have the Air Tech Challenge 2s. You know what I'm saying? I caught these, but they ain't already have a pair. I love this shoe, my wife hate it. Hey, they got the shattered guy. So, this music kind of loud in here, so I am going to go ahead and grab these. 90 bucks, shattered colorway, can't beat it. Let's do it. Bro, I did get them. I was going to talk about the shoe in the actual store, but it was too loud in there, man. So, um, that music, bro, like, I could just, you could just hear the music blazing through the speakers, bro. Not trying to get a uh, copyright strike on this video. I want to be able to put some ads on this guy. So uh, that's gonna mess me up by trying to do that. But like I said, when I had to shop, cop the Shadow Bat Boy Jordan One Lowe's, that's the one I was looking for. That was one of the reasons I did want to come to the mall to see if they got them. They say they sold out. This was a restock, so they they say they sold out when they first came out. They actually had a line of these sold out, which is weird because how people knew they was coming out, they didn't have no release date. So they, uh, I guess people saw them through the window or something. I don't know, but they sold that first one out and then they restocked and they say these pretty much selling out too. So. I guess it's the hype from the Shattered Bad Boy colorway, but it just made me feel like I want to complete the set. I got the away, I got the home or whatever. I don't have the satins, of course, because they ain't my size, but this is just another piece of the uh, Shattered Bad Boy. Um, yeah, man, so I ain't never heard of this place. It's called Box Lunch. I guess it's like Hot Topic or Spencer's or something like that, because the first thing I saw was, you know, got some uh, ramen noodles. Make, make my uh, daughter look like a box of noodles <laughs> walking around. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. I cannot ever do the white. This, this one actually is this, this a little bit too small. C Claire, yeah, it's a little bit too small. How much it cost? What they want for these guys? Oh, 45 stacks. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. We riding around in the bins, but it's like I said, it's too small, man. And if I would get these, I would want to have that AMG kit on that guy. Let's look at the front grill real quick, though. Yeah. I would need it to be black. I would need it to be the um, bigger. And what's the bigger one? S class, E class? I don't know, man. S class. It is the S class. It's the biggest. Yeah, give me an S class if I'm going to get a Benz. I need some, some headroom. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, that guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I had to get out of Foot Locker, man. Actually, it was only two uh, sneaker stores in that mall. It seemed like I remember it being more than that. Uh, back, I guess if you, in, you um, it's a skate shop in there, and it's a journeys in there. So I don't really go in those, going to those spots for sneakers as much. But um, yeah, man. So anyway, I did get the shatter backboard lows, like I said before. This box is just like trashed. It's beat up. It's, they put it in this regular joint box. It seemed like they should have put it, I mean, cause these, all these lows they've been bringing out recently, that's not like the OGs, they got the jump man and stuff. They supposed to have some kind of SB vibes going on with them. So don't you think they should have put these in the SB box? I don't know. Maybe they are more expensive to make or something. Cause these boxes are definitely trash. So um, anyway, but that's why we got the cases, man. We ain't gonna need no boxes, you feel me? Let's check them out. I can actually look at them and talk about them. Now that I'm in the car, that music was just ridiculous in Foot Locker. I did try them on. They actually quite comfortable, man. These are quite comfortable, bro. I tried them on. The materials and stuff feel nice on your feet, man. It, they, they, it's comfortable, man. So let's check them out, man. Let's go ahead and look them. Do this first person view action going on. These are nice. I like the colorway, of course. The, honestly, I feel like every time I buy something that's like this colorway, I have to get it because of being stupid the first time the Shattered Backboard released. I like the shoe, but I was like, bruh, if I can make three, I sold them for 350. I was like, if I can make 350, I'm going to sell them. That was the first. I had like, I had like three pair of them, and I sold all them guys like for 350 a piece, man. So, anyway, man, every time I see a, a colorway like this now, I feel like I got a copy. I'm still making up for doing that. You know what I'm saying? But these are dope, bro. Love the colorway. Love the cell panels on the side, man. They are not actually marketed as Shattered Backboard, of course. They just Jordan 1 Lowe's, like some SB kind of vibes. What they, what they, what they actually named these? This is my first time buying one of these. So this just says Air, Air Jordan 1 Low. White Starfish. Same, pretty much same colorway as the uh, Shadow Bad Boy. $90. And I said, also $90. I'm like, man, $90, bro? I'd pay $90 for, for a Jordan 1 Low with a Shadow Bad Boy colorway on it. Who wouldn't do that? You know what I'm saying? These clean, man. You know what I'm saying? I will be rocking these, guy. They are comfortable. There's another shoe to rock. Um... Just in case I don't want to rock my highs and I just want to have this colorway or something to vibe with this colorway and I don't want to mess my OGs up, I can pull these out. I, I'd be a little bit more forgiving um, getting these messed up uh, before I get the OGs. You know what I'm saying? With that plush plushness on them. You know what I'm saying? They got that patent leather swoosh on them, guy. Patent leather swoosh. Jump man. 23 right here in the front, stitched. Um, it's a few of these out. Like I showed y'all in the mall, it's a few of these out. But I said if I see this colorway, I'm copping. Um, and it's not a surprise that they selling out, man. Like I just posted them on Instagram and like half of the people on IG, half of the people are saying, where are they? And I expect to have the people say, man, you hype beast. You fall into the hype. You cop the, you only join one low, uh, uh, wave, which if y'all really paid attention to my channel, y'all to know I would have, I've been on Jordan one lows. If y'all watched some of my older videos, especially a few years ago when they was releasing all them OG, uh, colorways in the Jordan one low. Um, but, um, yeah, man. A lot of people in the comments saying, where are they? And they, I got these approved in the mall. I already told y'all the mall I was at. They did the restock. And um, I heard these are pretty much going for retail anyway on stock eggs, man. So that's that. Um, I went ahead and jumped on them, man. Nice shoe. Like I said, when I tried them on, they were real. I, I did not expect them to feel that comfortable on my feet, man. Especially a Jordan 1 Low. I don't know if they actually add an extra padding because it's like, I don't know. It's supposed to be some SB. I don't know, man. They just feel real good on feet, man. So that's it, man. Uh, Air Jordan 1 low Shadow Backboard guys. I don't know why I'm showing the other shoe like it's gonna be something different. I mean, it's the exact same exact same thing, man. Just the other shoe. It's definitely full Shadow Backboard color blocking though. 
like the toe, the, the side panel, everything. It's full shadow backboard, um, original OG shadow backboard color blocking. So it's a, it's a dope shoe, man. Y'all comment below if y'all would go after these. If you did go after them, I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know. They did like a staggered kind of uh, release on these. They didn't have no official release date, and they just kind of like spread them out across Foot Locker. As far as what I know, Foot Locker is the only one that's kind of been getting them in. I'm pretty sure they'll restock a few times, other places to get them. They're going to make as much money as they can out of these because they, I think it's a low. It don't take much material to make. It's a $90 shoe. They're going to sell. You know what I'm saying? It's the Shadow Bad Boy colorway. I'm surprised, but the other one was like a slick fragment colorway, wasn't it? Except the toe, I don't think the toe is blue on the fragment. That one, right? I'm surprised that one, that one sold out for the most part, but it looks so dope in hand, bro. That shoe, I might actually go back and get that, man. I might actually go back and get that blue colorway because it look, it looks so dope in hand. Like I said, Jordan 1 Lows are fine, man. I always kind of like been on Jordan 1 Lows. These seem like they're a little bit fatter, like wider than the OG Jordan 1 Lows. Um, the UNCs I just got look like they seem, seem like they're a lot more 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 narrow. You feel me? I don't know. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the house and uh, compare them and see which one look. Um, see if they look different. But anyway, I think that's just about it for this video. I gotta go home and lug these all these containers in the house, and I will. I don't know when the video is coming up, so I ain't gonna promise you it's gonna be like tomorrow or something. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna redo my whole sneaker room and stuff like that. Put containers up, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it, man. So, anyway, it's been your boy, Mike Rich. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Man, y'all go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like. Please subscribe to your boy channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification, get, hit the notification bell so you can be if informed when your boy drop vids because I don't drop them on a consistent basis like I would like to, like every day or every other day. I drop about three to four videos a week, sometimes one or two, depends on how my week going at work and stuff like that. But hit notification bell so you can be notified of them videos. Also, can you so you can be a part of Rich Nation, stand all the way up to the moon on them. You feel me? And keep watching my video, Cadets, what I'm here for. Go on.